working on the Philco 46350 once again today. Hi, good morning, YouTube. Here with you on a Friday morning. It is 11.35 now in the a.m. I uh, thought I would show you something real quick before we go back to the bench. And yes, I am taking a break from the cleaning today, and I'm going to work on the Philco. For all you Philco fans out there, you've waited long enough. It's time to get back to it. It won't be a long video. Uh, well, you know me, but... <laughs> It will uh, probably just be the wiring up of the, uh, or restuffing of the filter cap. Um, I have all the parts. Of course, I've got to find them. It'll take me a while to find them, but I won't make you go through that. But uh, anyway, I'm here on the computer this morning just to show you something that uh, I spent some time. It took me about an hour, uh, I'm going to guess, to do this, but uh, I think it was worth it. Um, once uh, YouTube decided to change things around and use this uh, uh, only showing the uh, comments that you haven't responded to, and I had a bunch, and I mean a bunch of uh, going back four years uh, of uh, comments that I hadn't responded to, and it was because YouTube did not notify me of them. Uh, I respond to everyone that I know of. And a lot of times I would even go the extra mile and, and go in there and look around and just see the check some videos to see if there was some I missed. But uh, anyway, I went back through and, and basically just put a smiley face on each uh, one that I didn't comment on. Um, it was pretty easy to do as far as uh, just hitting the key, uh, you know, uh, Control uh, V for paste, and then I. I would move on to the next one, basically. So uh, here's what the result is. So there's your. <laughs> that's the first time I've seen that in a long time. So now the only ones that appear here or should appear here are the ones on the recent videos that I've made. And if I keep up with those, I should be okay. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Nothing. 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 Blah, 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 blah. Nothing more major to. Uh, tell you about. Uh, like I said, just uh, wanted to uh, show you that before I move back to the uh, uh, workshop. We'll see you then. Hi, here I am back at the bench again. I uh, wanted to show you this. I moved my clock. Um, it's kind of sitting up there in the dark. It's, it's actually in a better spot, I think, and it also goes on and off with the uh, uh, switch. So if I turn the switch off, it goes off. So, I like that a lot better. Uh, it may not show up very well on the camera itself, but uh, it shows up really well for me. I, I don't see a lot of glare. Uh, of course, I don't have the other light on. If I turn the other light on, it makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, that of course that's more more just on the uh, uh, computer screen it does than anything I think so anywho that's uh, all the things I wanted to point out now I do have a fairly clean bench if we look down here uh, there's my phone there's a cable or actually the uh, what do you call it I haven't got those up yet I'm gonna work on that um, before I get started here uh, this end's got a few more cables and stuff to sort out. Um, I did use, uh, I did go a different way with my um, clip leads. As you can see, they're up here right now. And I'm going to try them there. And I, I've got a hook on there now. I may have to go to a straight uh, connector like uh, one of these. And uh, see how that works. I, I, I'm sure those will probably work better, but uh, I'm going to try the hook, see what that does. And if it works, it works. If it don't, I'll just switch it around. It's not a big deal. Um, on the uh, stuff over here, uh, I told you, I showed you the uh, the um, Dremel. I've, I've showed you how I've got that hooked up uh, already. And on the other side, 
I have these wires coming down through here, uh, one of these cable clamps, and right, you know, they go down alongside the thing. They're, they're pretty much out of the way there. Uh, I think they'll reach about anywhere, but the only problem I'm having uh, with the other ones for the multimeter is they're not long enough. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, make some longer ones. I've got the uh, cable up there to do that. It's not a big deal. I can use those uh, things come in handy for all kinds of different things, so I'm not worried about being able to use the ones I made. So I'll make some longer ones for them. I need those to come over at least as far as uh, probably uh, the, the variac. I'm, I'm going to guess, just in case I need to, to measure something over there. And what I'll do is I'll run the uh, two in here, and I'll put a, another cable clamp there and come down here. Um, I don't think there'll be a problem with these. Uh, just sort of keep them out of the way between the two. And... Uh, I'll be using the, these more often than I will those for sure. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do there. Um, like I said, that's a couple of things I'm, I've got planned. Um, but for now, like I said, I want to finish cleaning this off and get the uh, filter cap for the Filco up here and work on that a little bit. See if I can't restuff those and add some of that uh, hot glue in there and, and get it to where it... Uh, or they're, you know, in a fairly decent, uh, you know, they're not rattling around in there or whatever. So, all right, we're going to do that. We'll be back in a bit. I am back once again here at the bench. Uh, I do have the uh, Pilco, uh filter cap, the freshly cleaned out filter cap. It doesn't have, eh, it might be a little dirty, but I'm not going to worry about that. I do think I'm going to, I'm thinking about lining that, but if I get this, I'm thinking about lining that, but if I don't, then I'm, I'm going to have to make sure I get the leads all covered and things like that. But anyway, um, as we can see here, the 150 voltage working volts of the uh, 30 uh, microfarad uh, is orange wire. Uh, the Also, the 30 microfarad uh, is a red wire. Uh, a brown wire is a 10. A yellow is a 30. So we have, um, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, orange wire. So i um, going to have to substitute probably pink or something like that. Pink, a red, a brown, and a yellow. I think I have all those colors. And black, I have black. But uh, I think we'll substitute the pink for the orange. And that should work out rather well, I think. And that will be our high voltage one. I think I only have one high voltage one in here, I believe. Because I, I looked at the schematic, there's not really that much uh, voltage on the rest of them. So this is the 33. Yeah, at 160. So this is the right one for the orange one. We know that. That'll be the pink one, I guess, now, now that I've, you know. Um, these are 33s, I think, also. Yes, these are only 100 volts. That's those are fine for what they are. Um, like I said, I, I checked the schematic. There's no the the, the voltage on those are, are low enough where the, those will work fine. And lastly, the uh, 10, I believe it's 10. Yeah, 10 microfarad at 100 volts. Uh, this is uh, only a 25 working volt, so. Uh, Actually, no, it's 150. It, okay, 100. All right, well, that's, that's fine. That'll work. These are the, uh, this is the, like I said, there's one at uh, 25 and one at 150, but these will work. So we have orange. Uh, Got to put this down here. Orange. And these will be red and yellow red and yellow red yellow got those marked and this one will be the brown one so there we have all those marked how they're supposed to be wired and the wire color that goes to them so now basically what I'm going to do is uh, put those all together and uh, 
get the commons together. I may do that last, but then I'm going to run some heat shrink. Once I put the uh, long wire on, I'll run heat shrink up to uh, cover everything, and uh, that should work out fine. Then we'll decide about the uh, hot glue or whatever we're going to do there. So um, This uh, corresponds also, let me point this out, I'm going to do this on the... Uh, on the screen, you'll see it on the screenshot as well. Um, this is an orange wire here. This is, uh, again, the 30, which is our 33, and high voltage when it goes here. This is the um, 10, which goes between these two um, 900 uh, ohm resistors uh, here. Uh, we have 870, whatever it was. Most of it says, most of them say 875 for these, and uh, this is the only one that says 900. So, uh, like I said, that uh, goes between those two. And, uh, like I said, the, the voltage on this, I forget, I looked it up once, and it was, it was less than 100 volts. So, uh, anyway, that's the, uh, let's see, that's the brown one. And that corresponds to our filter cap over there. That's the 10. Um, the two 30s, uh, other 30s, the red and the yellow, go up here to the switch. That one does. And the yellow one here goes to the filament string. Uh, there's basically uh, four volts here, I think, is what I measured. Uh, so, you know, it, this is this will work out fine. They're, they're, they're going to be just fine. Uh, so there's no problem there. Uh, but anyway, that's the way they, they're laid out as far as where they go. Uh, I'm going to try to make the leads about the same length and make it long enough to where they can reach all the way to the end of the radio if they need to. And then I can shorten them as needed. But uh, anyway, that's the way I'm going to do it. So let me get some uh, soldering uh, iron here, some wire, and some stuff to uh, uh, populate this or fill it or whatever you want to call it stuff it <laughs> uh, and that's uh, that's what we're gonna do so hang on I am back once again it's 1 34 now in the afternoon um, as you can see I do have this all I think you can see if I put it in front of the camera you could see it and I think I've got it there um, that's pretty much the way it's gonna be uh, I think I may wrap some tape around this I don't have anything big enough as far as uh, I don't I don't think those that will go around the whole thing. I want to try it though and see if it will. Then I'll just use a, a big piece of shrink wrap and go around the whole thing, and uh, that will keep everything uh, the way it should be. So let me try that and see, and then I'll bring you back. But I wanted to show you the individual uh, before I cover them up, and I put one big piece of. Uh, around the whole the wires there and that will come out the uh, little uh, fiber washer here and then that will be mounted down there I don't think I need the uh, once I get that in there I don't think I'm gonna need the what do you call it there <laughs> I wish I could learn to get this in the camera but uh, yeah I think it'll once I get a piece of uh, shrink wrap around that whole thing, or tape, or whatever I use, then I think it'll be fine. Alright, let me do that, and I'll bring you back. Alright, there you see the uh, all the caps are uh, covered in tape. That should do to uh, keep everything at bay, like it should, I think. And uh, that ring will mount on there just like that. Go up in there and I'll get that in there and I don't know exactly how I'm going to put that in there but I'll figure out something to get that in there tight. Uh, I know that's probably overkill on the wire. I'm sure it is but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And this, this is a cheap cheap uh, Chinese wire that I got for oh I don't know less than 30 cents a roll or whatever it was so it's not that expensive wire so but it is 300 volts so should work just fine. That is close right there. Now take the hammer and just tap it down around that, and I think that'll look, that'll work out fine. That looks good, I think. Real good. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Take the hammer tap around the edge and a uh, little peen it over just a little bit to hold it in and hold it down. So I think that'll work out pretty good. I really, I like it. I like it a lot. So I think I'm going to call this a wrap. All right. I think that was Bob on the uh, text. So I'm going to get off here and you guys have a pleasant, pleasant day. I do appreciate you watching and I uh, uh, thank you very much and uh, we will see ya.